Uh, an LP. Different LP. Hello, this is Geop, and I have a co-commentator with me. Hello, co-commentator. Hi, uh, I'm Judge Reinhold from The Coffee Men. The Coffee Folk. And we're playing a game called Killer is Dead. It's one of the uh, fancy games by that Suda-type guy. And, uh, Reinhold, you have not played this? No, no, I haven't. It looks like you're playing the Nightmare Edition as well. Yeah, this is the, um... It's basically just the one that came, got ported to Steam. It has all the DLC, which is, uh... It's just a bonus level, pretty much, and a, a harder difficulty. And hats. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna be playing on normal. I do not want to show off my, uh, amazing skills at this video game. is dead.
So yeah, that was the first mission. Something's... Wow, I'm hooked. <laughs> so here's something that's just, it's really interesting. You can get, like, triple A rating, I think, is the highest. You saw that I did not screw around that mission. Just an A. It's like I wow. recorded this and I was like, what the fuck? It's probably when I got hung up on that one dumpster early on. That's what lost me the triple A rating. I think you only get triple A if you uh, have to fix the car in the alleyway. Oh. Maybe without a spare. And this is just showing the uh, loading screens, which I'll be leaving out. And between missions, you have uh, an overworld thingo. This is the mission we just came from. Whenever you select it, it says who the client is and who the target is, yada yada. So the purple stuff rising to the moon was the man choosing it. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> it allows a, you to think of your own narrative. Exactly. Well, there, 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 it's, there's kind of a logic behind what that was, but it's it's a fuzzy logic. Wake up. Mondo, wake up. Open your eyes, slowly. It's time to get some work done. We've got prey that needs hunting. something. It's time. Sorry, baby. I got a job to do. But afterwards, we'll pick up where we left off. I can't wait. I know. I won't be long, I promise. Let me go to my place. Mondo! Okay. I'll forgive you this time. on the target, and please make it look natural. Roger! Mondo, slow down. Well, I'm racing against the clock here. Every second counts. I spilled it! Did the target move? Yes! Good. Approaching the target. Leave the rest to me. So these are our usual bad guys. And we have a katana. Wait, wait, wait. Your beloved katana? Uh-huh, my beloved katana. Did you get it from eBay like I got my beloved katana from? I got from Cold Steel. It can hack Coke bottles in half like you would not believe. So the game, the game won't let us do anything else. It wants us to slash these guys, so there we go. And, do they um, attack? Not right now, no. They're just uh, kind of... They're, they're in awe of my uh, wonderful sense of style. They just hold these Home Depot uh, lawn lanterns. Yeah, pretty much. They're actually... Uh, oh, hang on a second. Mm-hmm, more. So, um, <laughs> these, these guys don't attack us. They're, they are the usual mooks we'll be fighting in the game. What exactly they are is not going to be explained for a while, obviously. But combat is really, it's really simple in this. Do you, have, have, do you know much about like Metal Gear Rising or, or Devil May Cry? Uh, no, I don't watch other people's LPs. Well, Out of the, principle. Com the combat in those, I'm talking about just playing the games. <laughs> but the combat in those is very deep and well developed, I think. This, it's very, there isn't much to it really. I mean, you have your basic combos and stuff. And these are all the items. It is showing us here. Um, so health gem, that's health. Blood rose, that's for using our special abilities. And as you pick up more in the game, you'll refill it, but you'll also level it up and get more of them. Like you can see the top left, those... I get it. Those, it's like Aladdin. Which Aladdin? The, 
the SNES? The, S the SNES one. Okay. You click gems. The better one. I got it. <laughs> game is understood. Mm -hmm. yeah. Killer is dead. Game is understood. Exactly. So, as we collect more of those little item things, whether they be diamonds or rose things, they will refill the meter, but they'll also level it up over time, which will raise the max. Impressive. You new around here? <laughs> Sir! Let go of me, you stupid! A little bitch. Spilled wine on my suit. <laughs> I'm your replacement. I see. Are you saying I dropped the ball? Because I was under the impression that I executed every job perfectly. Haven't I, Brian? The boss isn't here. He's waiting at the table. He'd like to have a few words with you. Is that so? Oh, I'm glad. Good luck, kid. One day, you may have to walk this path too. And on this job... You always come face to face with darkness. That's why you gotta find a beacon of light that'll never succumb to it. Thank you. Those are words I won't forget. About a drink. Brian, did I make a mistake? Yeah, by going against the state. That's evil, man. At least that's what I believed. Tell me, did you. did you accept the darkness? I devoured it entirely. I've been enchanted by her beauty and her chaos. The still dark night. Everyone feels that way. It doesn't matter now. Watch out for that young kid. He's dangerous. Show him the right way. Yeah, I intend to. To the executioners, a toast. Cheers. Good wine. <coughs> a nineteen fifty vintage Burgundy. Brian. Was my life worthwhile? <laughs> Everything in life is worthwhile. Never forget that. The killer is dead. Now, let the killing begin. So, these first few missions are kind of short. 
but they get closer to the neighborhood alike. Oh, <laughs> your last name's Zappa! Yep, Mondo your name's Zappa. Your Zappa! Mondo Zappa. Your moon unit's, uh, little brother. <laughs> oh, I wish I could. Where's Dweezil in this game? Uh, yep, so this is our next mission. We'll pick up there in a moment. Looking forward to it.